Today's lesson objective is students can use addition to determine the area of rectilinear models and explain how they are additive. First, let's review some important vocabulary. First, we need to review how to determine the area of a rectangle. First, we can count each square. Second, we could use repeated addition. Finally, we could multiply rows and columns. Let's look at the images on the screen. Each figure has an area of nine, even though their size and shape varies. This will be important as we look at rectilinear figures today. The objective of the lesson is to find the area of this rectilinear figure. I know how to determine the area of a rectangle. I see this shape can be separated into smaller rectangles. I can figure out the area of each of the smaller rectangles by using one of the strategies we already mentioned. For this rectilinear figure, I'm going to count each square. The green rectangle has an area of two. The red rectangle has an area of 6. The orange rectangle has an area of 15. The blue rectangle has an area of 16. Now, to figure out the area of the rectilinear figure, I need to add the smaller areas together to get the area of the entire figure. The area of this rectilinear figure is 39. Let's look at another way that we can separate this rectilinear figure into rectangles. To determine the area of each of these rectangles, I will use repeated addition. In the red rectangle, I see I have three squares in the first row. That means I must have three squares in the second row, or a total of six squares. The area of the red rectangle is six. Let's look at the columns of the blue rectangle. I know I have seven squares in the first column. That means I must have seven more squares in the second column, or a total of 14. In the third column, I have an additional seven, or a total of 21 squares. The area of the blue rectangle is 21. I can see that the green rectangle is one square bigger than the blue rectangle. Therefore, its area must be equal to eight. The area of the orange rectangle is four. When I add the area of the smaller rectangles together, I get the total area of the rectilinear figure. The area is 39. Let's try one more way to separate this rectilinear figure into smaller rectangles. To determine the area of these smaller rectangles, I will multiply rows and columns. The area of the orange rectangle is 1 times 1, or 1. The area of the blue rectangle is 1 times 2 or the area of the blue rectangle equals 2. The area of the red rectangle is 2 times 8, or the area of the red rectangle equals 16. The area of the green rectangle is 5 times 4. The area of the green rectangle equals 20. When we add up the area of the smaller rectangles, we get the sum of 39. The area of the entire rectilinear figure equals 39. It did not matter how I divided my rectilinear figure into rectangles, I was still able to determine the area of the original figure by adding the smaller rectangles together. In this lesson, we learned how to use addition to determine the area of rectilinear models and explain how they are additive by following these steps. First, we separated rectilinear figures into small rectangles. Next, we figured out the area of each of the small rectangles. Finally, we added the individual areas together to get the area of the original rectilinear figure.